Hello, welcome to Drawing from the Collection for Children live on Facebook. My name is Tiffany Wolf Smith. I am Assistant Curator of Education here at the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth. We're so excited to be joining you live today. Um, we'll be doing a live stream of projects for children every first Sunday of the month at 2 p.m. with a new artist and a new project every single month. So we're so glad you're here to join us today for our inaugural live drawing from the collection for children. Um, so today we have an artist joining us from Connecticut, Jen Dawson. Say Hello. Hi. So Jen is an artist and educator. She uh, grew up in Wisconsin. She received her BFA from Texas Christian University here in Fort Worth and then moved to New York to receive her MFA from SUNY Purchase. So Jen, before we get started, tell us about what you're doing these days. I am working at, uh, at SUNY Purchase and I manage all of their sculpture facilities and I teach a bronze casting class. And during quarantine, I just make puzzles and make sculptures. <laughs> So Jen's busy. She has a really cool job. So we're glad she's taking a break from that to join us today to do a project. So Jen has picked a really important work from the Moderns collection, Martin Perrier's Ladder for Booker T. Washington, which is now on view, the Moderns ground floor all the way up to the second floor. You can see it. So Jen, tell us what you like about Martin Perrier. Well, I thought it would be nice since we just had uh, Black History Month to spotlight a Black artist. Um, and Martin Perrier has been working with traditional craft techniques since he was a young boy. Um, and his work is often really poetic and meaningful, even though sometimes it can look kind of minimalistic. Great, yes, this is a very important work. It's a fan favorite around the museum. It is up almost all of the time and we're glad for that. So Martin Perrier named this work Ladder for Booker T. Washington. So Jen, can you tell us who Booker T. Washington was? Uh, yeah, Booker T. Washington was um, uh, born in slavery in 1856. Um, and he overcame all the, cha the challenges of Jim Crow laws that, were, that enforced segregation in the United States South. Um, and he went on to found Tuskegee Institute, a historically black college in Tuskegee, Alabama. Sweet, yeah. Booker T. Washington was an important fellow and somebody that Martin Perrier was um, really interested in um, keeping in our history, in our periphery. So Jen uh, is going to work on a project with us today. So uh, here's a list of the supplies y'all will need to gather if you haven't already. And we're going to switch over control to Jen so she can walk you step by step through a ladder for Booker T. Washington ladder. Okay. All right, so um, what you're gonna need to get started is I covered the table with some uh, parchment paper so I don't get glue um, all over the table. Um, you're gonna need some wood glue and just a little something to put it in. I just have a, lid, a plastic lid here and you don't need a whole lot of glue. Um, and then you're gonna take your, um, your wooden stir sticks um, and you're going to cut them into different sizes. So I have different sizes here, just kind of already pre-cut and stacked. Um, and what I did to make it a little easier to follow along is I just drew kind of a, a wobbly um, line that starts out wider at the bottom and closer at the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to stack and glue um, my wood pieces in the shape of the ladder. So um, what I like to do because you don't need a whole lot of glue is you just take a little dab on the bottom of your piece that where you're going to set it and then you can start to stack 
your next piece on top of it. So if you are working and you find that you have too much glue or you get glue on your hands, it's nice to have a clean piece, a clean stick to kind of help unstick it from your fingers if you get it on your fingers. Um, and it also is nice to just press down to hold it in place. Um, and so you can just start by dipping the glue on both sides and then you can start stacking them. And I'm just following my drawing that I did because um, it's giving me a little bit better of an idea of what I want to follow and what I want the last part to look like. Um, and I just keep going and you don't need a whole lot of glue. And we're going to make sure that it's all pressed up and secured at the end. And when you have all your pieces pre-cut, it goes really quickly. So I'm just going to keep putting my dots of glue onto my pieces. And I'm just picking out from my stack the piece that I think is going to fit best on the next one. Um, so that's why it's good to have your drawing already pre-done. Um, but if you want to just wing it and go with it, that's okay too. Um, the thing that I like about the piece is that the kind of winding, um, stepping up of the rungs on the ladder just kind of looks like it's kind of unstable. Um, it looks like it could, you know, break, but it also has this forced perspective, which means it starts out big and goes small. So it looks a lot steeper than it actually is. I mean, it's a big piece. I mean, it takes up a whole room and you can see it from the ladder or from the second floor of the modern. Um, but when you're standing at the bottom of it, it can look bigger than it really is. I'm gonna go all the way up here to the top and I'm gonna start using some of my little pieces there. And if you get to, and you wanna have your pieces thinner, you can take one of your sticks and you can just cut, make a little snip and this will just come right apart and you have like a little sliver instead of a really big stick. Um, so if you want to play with the size of the sticks, you can do that too. Um, and if you have really big popsicle sticks, it'll be pretty easy to just cut along the, the length of it and it'll come um, off in little pieces. Um, so it's pretty, if you have really sturdy sticks, you might need a little help cutting them. Um, but now I've got the sides of my ladder, I'm gonna start making the rungs of my ladder. So I'm gonna dip both ends this time. And then I'm gonna press in. And what I wanna do, just like the piece in the museum, is this, the steps look bigger down here and they look smaller up here. So I'm gonna start a little bit wider and then I'm gonna get a little bit more narrow, a little bit more narrower. And then it will have that same look as the Mern Purrier piece does. Um, and so you just keep dipping your glue. And keep going. Make sure you have your pieces all spread out. And if you cut too many, you can make a really big one or you can make multiples and hang them, which is really cool if you, if you hang them up like it's hung up at the museum, you can still get that kind of forced perspective. So now I'm gonna start making these rungs a little bit smaller, a little bit more narrow to make it look like when it's all done, that it's gonna hold that forced perspective. And just a little bit of glue goes a long way. Keep going. And this is a fun thing that you can do to kind of 
compare. You can bring your you can bring your own ladder for Booker T. Washington in and compare what it looks like to the real one, which I think would be kind of cool. Going. I'm just using this to get it off my fingers if it starts to stick. I'll hold it in place. And almost to the top. A little bit lower. Start making those a little bit more narrow. So, and then I'm going to switch to these smaller ones that I did. I want it to look like it's really narrow up there. Start popping those in. Then it starts to take on a little bit more of that forced perspective that makes the piece kind of really powerful and poetic. So it looks like it's, you know, going all the way up into space and it looks, you know, unstable, but, um, you know, I think part of the, the poetry or the meaning of the piece um, is that, you know, no challenge is easy um, and something as difficult as Booker T. Washington went through will probably be a very difficult path to go on. So I'm going to do my teeny tiny pieces up here for the top. A little bit. Set it up there. I'm using my clean stick. I'm going to do just one more. And then the next and final important step is to make sure that we press it down because this glue, if we just pick it up, it's not gonna hold anything. We got some pieces down here that went out of place. Um, but if we just let it go, it's not going to stay in place. So what I like to do is after I've got my general shape all glued up, I take some of my long pieces here and I lay them across just on top so that when I put my heavy book down on it, it'll give some pressure along the top and the bottom. Um, but also be sure that you use another piece of this parchment paper because you don't want to set a book on it and then glue your ladder to your book. So I'm using my vegetable cookbook. It's nice and heavy. I'm going to leave that and you can leave it for about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, the glue usually takes pretty quickly to set up. Um, and then when you're done, you have your own ladder for Booker T. Washington. And you can play with the perspective. You can make it look like it's going into space. You can play with dimensions um, and you can hang it through a window and have it shine light in different places. So there's a lot of things that you can do with it, do with it, do with it. With it. So I think that's all for now. And I'll hand it over to Tiffany. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Jen. With you today. Great. So uh, we'll be back next month, first Sunday of the month at 2 p.m. with another live video. Thanks for joining us. Bye, guys. Thank you.